opportunity I'm really concerned. Look, you're going to have to face this. It's reality. Your career could end any minute. I mean, think about it. Actresses have a shelf life, and I gotta hand it to you, it is astonishing how long you've been able to stretch it out. You're working well beyond your expiration date, Sam. I mean, what are you, 57, 58? You have to start thinking about your future. You need an exit strategy. There's no way Hollywood is gonna keep you around for much longer, and the end is not going to come easy. Just one day you're gonna go to work, and work won't be there. Then what happens to me and my sisters? You're gonna have to start wearing a yarmulke, Sam, because I don't know if you realize this, but your hair is falling out. Seriously, you're developing a bald spot. I'm saying this because I love you. Everyone is talking about it. When was the last time you saw the back of your head? <clears throat> Mom, look at Mr. Cohen. Mom, that's you in two years. Maybe one. Mom, I love you. No offense, but you have a massive bald spot on the back of your head. Hi, Sam. How are you? Oh, hi, Dale. Oh, you look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God, Frankie got so big. Hi, Mrs. Luncheon. Hi. Now, all kidding aside there, I want to talk about this ancient tradition. The bar mitzvah now, you know, when I was growing up, girls <clears throat> didn't have bar mitzvahs. I Listen, I have some ideas for jobs you can maybe look for when your career ends horribly. Like you could work at McDonald's as a vomit cleaner, or, or, you know those places where they take everybody's shit in the whole city and they chemically separate it into fertilizer and drinking mm -hmm. water? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could work at one of those. You could be a shit sorter. That would be a great job for an old bald lady. Right? And now, Push's parents have asked a very close family friend to say a few words, so I would like to invite Sam Fox to come to the stage. Sam? Oh, hi, Frankie. Hi. Oh, my goodness gracious. What happened to you there? Oh, nothing. The dress came that way. Did it? Yeah, it's fine. That's good. It's weird, though, because it kind of looks like you had bloody diarrhea out of your belly button. Oh, no, it's fine. Good. Glad to hear it. Well, I got to get back to it. Back to what? Oh, you know. Me and the other girls are giving presents to the bar mitzvah boy in the stairwell. You're giving him another present? We're giving him money, honey. No, Mom. I'm giving him a present. All the girls are. Oh. Is that right? Yeah, I already went. I'm going again. Good for you. Mm, good for him. Well, sure. Hey, Mom, when you were my age, did you ever give boys presents at the bar mitzvah? Oh, my God. I was kidding. But you did. Oh, my God. Mom, you're such a Gross. Oh, Drew. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's nothing. It's fine. You're not coming to class anymore. What's up? Oh, yeah, I switched to Spanish classes. Did oh. they not tell him that? No, it seems like you were just avoiding me. Oh, yeah, definitely would never do that. This is why I told them they should have fired him long time ago. Yeah? I don't know, man. So, I feel like I never see you anymore. What's up? Oh, yeah. You know, just... Stuff. Yeah. We should hang out soon. Definitely, yeah. Hey, Mom. Remember the end of the Flintstones? What? Frankie! Frankie! <laughs> Wilma! Frankie!